So here I am with Tom Yak, one of the TEP founding fathers. Actually, his number is number one. Tom, tell us how the fraternity got started. Well, I'll need some help from Rick. Rick, why don't but, you come over here? But as a freshman, I was in the dorm, and I met Rick. Bob was my roommate, and uh, I got so you both. we, we kind of got together and knew each other, did some things together. Then they stayed in the dorm, and I went off with a guy by the name of Denny Zamler, who had come from Lawrence uh, Tech. I believe it was Lawrence Tech, yeah. Or Detroit Tech? No, I think it was Lawrence Tech. No, it was Lawrence Tech. And then I can't remember how he hooked up with Zamler, but he asked me to be a roommate with another guy. And we lived in the third floor of the house right next to the Arm of Honor house. And then these guys... We tried to, uh, all of us went through Rush. <laughs> and that we was the key. We, which was fine, but we, all of us, the, all, well, there were four of us, I think, we couldn't get the same bid to the same fraternity. We Richard had, and I were the only ones that got from Delt. We called it Delt, Delt Pigs, Pigs, and they we didn't want to go to Delt Pigs. I had one from Cappy, you had one from or somebody Sigma else. Tall, I was something or other. I was going to go to Kappa, but then nobody else around here had a, had a bid, or you know, uh, and we couldn't get all four of us together. So he said, "So well, he, he's talking." Well, they just Zandler. wanted good-looking guys. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> Kappa did. That's yeah. true. That's true. But it was uh, odd because we were trying to figure out what to do, and we figured, how can we all get together? And then he gets along how. with Zambler and goes. Well, I've we got these great connections in in New York. We'll start a fraternity. We'll get them to fund us. Yeah, Which we totally didn't believe. <laughs> right. And we didn't realize it was a Jewish fraternity. Oh. We had no clue. <laughs> we had no idea. <laughs> we, had, we had no we clue. We and boy, is it now. We spent the rest of our time trying to be a non-Jewish fraternity. <laughs> well, like, some of the oh, early man. guys were Fetterbush. Oh, Zam Zambler. Uh, Z. Z. Uh, Zarin. Zarin. Yeah, all those kind of names. We uh, had about five or six of them. At probably least, at the, yeah, at least. No like more that. than eight or nine. It never <laughs> got more than that. Minority. We were the mutts. We had everything. Yeah. Right. So then what we did is he got us hooked up with uh, this guy who was the head of the TEPs nationwide. Sydney. I'm Sydney Suntag. I know you. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> there goes my interview. Oh, my God. <laughs> I would do this except I have new I eyes. Do you? Excuse well, me. I've been told I've cataract starting. So, oh, hi. Excuse yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> so, Zamler hooked us up with uh, Sydney Sunday Sun Tag, who had a. He smoked a cigarette, but on this long cigarette. That's holder, right. I remember those. Bald guy. Yeah. Very distinguished bald looking. Eagle. Yes. Yeah, bald eagle, we yeah. call him. So, before you know it, they buy us a house. Beautiful house. Okay. It was right, chopped right. up into a rooming, a rooming house, right? As I can recall. Yep. Well, yep. well yeah, it's kind of beautiful. A crystal two chandelier. Old ladies, two old ladies owned it. Hi, Let it went up to the door and knocked on the yeah. door. Right. Let it glass. Yeah. Built on yeah. 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 And after she wanted to sell her house, at the shock of all time was she goes, actually, we are interested in listing it. And we're like, we bought the house. Yeah. They bought it for us. Cash was great. And then we took the upstairs attic. My dad and a couple. Well, there's we brought up right in all the materials and created a number of rooms up in the attic. Top of the flame. Top of the flame. Yeah, right. Top of the flame. Exactly. Yeah. Here was the funniest part. The reason that 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 Sydney and his group wanted to do this is because they were having problems establishing any kind of a chapter at U of M. So they figured if they could establish a chapter at Eastern, they could compete with Sammys and ZBTs over at Michigan. Right. So that was the, at least the theory. <laughs> so we, we did something really stupid. We went out and bought brand new carpeting for the place. And it was it was like, it was beige for a while. <laughs> Not too long. You know, there were rules like you had to take your shoes off at the door. That did, that went away really fast. Uh, to the, put a date on things. Bob might have been president at this time, but he resigned because... Get ready, because alcohol was going to be. Well, let me add to that story. <laughs> I, I was president, and then I went abroad for a semester uh, to England as an exchange student. Bob took over. There was no alcohol in the house when I left. By the time I got back, drugs were in the house. <laughs> I know that sounds really square. Yeah, but back then, if you had alcohol, 
anywhere on campus, you Gone. were kicked out of the you know, university. Yeah. Yep. Wow. There was a good reason so not to it, have it. It wasn't that he was that square. It was just that well, and that was were the rules. And that was in '64 <laughs> because in '64 was the, really the last the last year that I left. I graduated and went to law school, so '64 was kind of that last year. By the time you guys got back, and by the time I'd left the house in '64 and came back in '65, you're right. We'd moved from alcohol to there were drugs right, in the yeah. house, which was yeah. really a shocker to all of us for you know well, knowing that we couldn't have guys. alcohol. Old we had to get in our guys. cars and drive down to Toledo to drink three That's two true. beer. Right. Trust me, we had a. Yeah. We, we did that too. Well, well, Mike Long the flipped, faba. Mike, yes, the faba. that's right. Yeah. That and, was it. Flipped his car. And Mike yeah. Long flipped his car Andrew coming Roar coming back the crew from there. Group. Then yeah. you guys probably remember. Yeah. You know, we were never very large, so we had no, to we compete were. in all kinds of sports. Oh, that's uh, we showed up for broom ball and touch football and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and we were noted really as a social service fraternity. Right. Remember that? Collecting, squares. Yeah, squares. Yeah, do, uh, using Vitaly's truck true. for paper drives for U UNICEF and all the rest of the that stuff. That didn't last long. Well. <laughs> <laughs> The, Some the of us thought sales. of that. Hell of that stuff. Yeah, but it changed once you got uh, Stevenson and Latka and the rest of the guys who were the athletes, the swimmers, yeah. the Mike baseball Torres, Mike Dombrowski. 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 Mike Dombrowski. Yeah. Mike Torrey. And you're With, right. All you those know, guys, we started recruiting. What so happens? We started, after that, we blame started it on recruiting. Them. Yeah. Well, we only had the, we had the only black diver, I think, in right. right. Eastern no, history. That's right. Black member <laughs> we were integrated. We were. We were. First one. The national was Oh, that's great. Yeah. True. We visited the National. It was a <laughs> Fifth Avenue address. We flew to New wow. York. And, and we just kept going on Fifth Avenue. Sure. And the big buildings and then sort of smaller buildings and then really run yeah. down buildings. That's where Tep was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sydney with his cigar cigarette holder. Yeah, oh, cigarette holder. Oh, yeah, interesting guy. There were quite interesting times of getting everything started. It really was. It was fascinating because it was a brand new experience. It gave us the opportunity to first start with the core group that we wanted to get together yeah, from the dorm. And then we started expanding it from there and it kind of caught on. And, and like I said, we really had started actively recruiting uh, you know, some of the athletes yeah. and some of the other folks that we run into. And it really turned out to be uh, a Our great, biggest great thing. Where you'll remember the biggest catch of the time was remember Mike, Mike Yankee, Yankee, Mike Yankee, the famous yeah. Mike Yankee. Yeah. He was yeah. a fullback. Fullback <laughs> on the football, football. team. Yeah, on, like, on the football team. That's exactly. I don't think right. he ever talked to any of us after that, but he, <laughs> <laughs> nonetheless, he did. I interviewed him when I pledged. <laughs> oh, you did. Okay. And I was probably the last one because <laughs> he was gone after that. Is that right? Yeah. Well, we've got a couple pictures of him on the old site when mm -hmm. uh, we had intramural track team. And, right. and Mike was, was a member with uh, myself and, and Du Ross and, uh, let's see, who else was, I can't remember the other other guys, uh, Jerry Mazaris was Jerry. one of them. Jerry was a Jerry. Was Jerry. Jerry. He was a sprinter, yeah. yeah. And was. Jerry, yep. And, and we, uh, that was, that was fall, fall of 67. Yeah. That was on Brick, Bricks? At Brick Stadium. Stadium, yep. 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 I can, well, I don't know if you guys remember, but when we used to go to football games, they were oh in God. the NIA, in NAIA at the time. Right. Had good teams. You had to get there like early because yeah. it didn't seat very many no. people. And people sat like right up to the end of the end zone. Yeah. It was jam packed. Yeah. And then yeah, they built Reinerson Stadium after that. Yeah.